That is number thresh. So how do we do this one? So this is just a simple case of reoccurring relationships. So this is sequences and series. So here they told you that a1 equals 1, and then you're given the relationship for a n plus 1 in terms of a n's. Now here for part a, they tell us to find the value of a2 and a3. Now let's have a crack. So to find a2, all we have to do, of course, is replace n of 1. So if n is 1 here, n is 1, and n is 1. So we have a1 of a1. We know a1 is 1, so bk 1 plus 1 over 1. Let's write it down. So replacing the values with a1 plus 1 over 1 again. This would just sum up to 2, so k times 2 is 2k over 1 is just 2k. So that's the easy initial step. And now let's find a3. A3 is just telling us to is it occurs when n is 2. So we have a2 plus 1 is 3. So replacing these two with a2s, and we know a2 is 2k, so we have 2k here and 2k there. This gives us k bracket 2k plus 1 over 2k. Straightforward, right? Here we can cross simplify. So let's have a look. So we got k here. Knock this out and this one out. This gives us 2 k plus 1 over 2. Of course, you can leave like this or you can go further and just, you know, separate them. So 2k divided by 2 is just k plus and a 1 divided by 2 is just half. So the answer would be k plus half. So either one, I believe, should be fine. Now, the second part, b, is another situation. Here we're given the fact that that the summation from AR for R equals 1, 2, 3, in other words, the first three terms is equal to 10. And they want us to find the value of K. So, what do we do? Like they say, we find the first three terms. So we have A1 plus A2 plus A3 equals 10. Now, plugging in every single term here, so A1 is 1, A2 is 2K, and A3 is K plus half equals 10. That's it guys, dead easy algebra. So adding these k's up, we're going to get 3k. Adding these two up, we're going to get 1.5. 10 take away 1.5 is 8.5 or 8.5. And lastly, dividing across and you know, well to make this, I guess to make this easy for you, you should write 3k equals 17 over 2. That's what 8.5 is, between 16 and, between 17 and 18. Dividing by 3, you just times a bond by 3, so 17 over 6. That's it. Done. And hope this, you know, helps. I mean, this is, I think this was a quite a nice question. It wasn't too bad. Now, let's move to the next one. So, ciao for now.